Hey everyone, this is Bobo the Vulture, and last time we won with this little uh, station wagon. So this time we're not going to win with that little station wagon. We're going to do something else. Um, we do need to buy an SVX. I thought we had one as a prize car. Maybe I sold it at some point. Maybe I didn't recognize it in the list of cars. Anything is possible. Here's an SVX right here. You see these Subarus, the used Subarus in this game are not cheap. There's no such thing as a as a Subaru that you can get to start the game with. They don't they don't make them that uh, they don't play them that cheap. Ah, the SVX. So amazing. High speed cruising. That's right. Great skill will be needed to squeeze the best speed out of it. It's okay. It's silver metallic and gray metallic. I don't know that I would necessarily have automatically gone with this combination, but uh, let's get it anyways because it's going to be nice. going to be a nice car. We're going to have a nice car, everybody. And, uh, again, I won't necessarily max out the engine tuning. Oh, you can't turbocharge the uh, SVX? That's crazy, man. Now I'm curious as to what you can do. Oh, okay. It'll cost you a whole lot of money to get a little bit of improvement in the engine. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and get good racing tires for it. And equip them. I don't think there was more than one uh, variety of SVX. Of course, if there was, I'm going to be very disappointed. Get green, blue, or yellow. We won't be doing that yet, of course, because first we have to do our weight reduction and do the race for normal style SVXs. I can see how this game would be very confusing to somebody who didn't know or get sort of the different things, terms by which certain cars would be called. Because this is called the Subaru SVX in America. And as you saw there in the used car list, SVX LSI was the name of it. But you have to get one for the Alcyon Challenge, which is not a term that was ever used in the United States. At least in terms of that car. Uh, I don't want to say no one has ever uttered those sounds in that combination. Because that would be very presumptuous of me. Alright, so right now we got nice tires and some weight reduction. And that's pretty much all we got going. It's a fairly mild state of tune. Oh, that's right. That's one thing I gotta do. Possibly. Yeah, I don't know, I, th I thought that this wasn't the case in Japan, but maybe it was the case in Japan as well. In America, these were only available with a four-speed automatic, which means that the gearing uh, for a racing game, anyways, for, for like driving your car in regular life, there's plenty enough space, there's plenty enough room between the gears and everything. But, uh, for a racing car, this is a ridiculous amount of, uh, revs to be pulling. Just ridiculously low, far down the rev spit. You should be... The acceleration is ridiculous. On the not good side. The car shouldn't be this much faster accelerated because it's headed downhill. Okay. 
but that's because of the gear ratios. Can't get the engine in the right place. First gear should never be a driving gear for one of these racing cars. Really, probably don't use first gear for anything other than taking off from a dead stop in your regular car. Probably. So great skill is going to be needed, they said, to maximize the speed out of this. I think if you highly tuned it, possibly, but um, I have to admit, considering it's slow for this game, I mean, clearly you're able to more than keep up with your standard traffic kinds of rates of travel. But, um, darn it. Look behind me at the wrong moment. I should actually. It's just ridiculous because I know how Laguna Seca goes. I've driven around this virtual track any number of times at this point. It's gonna seem silly to race modify this car. Because it is very slow in this uh, little situation here. I do love it, though. I, I think this is an amazing car. You know, I sometimes uh, think, oh, what would be what would be the car that I could have that wouldn't necessarily be something that, like, I would be worried about... Or what would, be the, what would be the car that I would have that I could own and possess and think, this is a special car. This is a car that is not something that you run across. This is this is a classic. This is a collectible. Granted, these cars are not actually very old. But something that would just be like a rare special sort of bird. We're going with the green trim because that's how I roll. That racing modification has been performed. And now... Six thousand or eleven thousand. It's not like money's a real object at this point. And it would be nice to be able to adjust the gear ratios because, of course, this car was never built to have five gears. So, yes. As ridiculously expensive as it is, I can almost make it back by winning this race, the, the price of this transmission. Uh, let's do a test run. Club in stage five. See how much more responsive the car is now. Alright, just want to get going on the longest straight I can. 
see whether or not the car is going to uh, top out. It's not even going to get into fourth. Though you do see it was much faster revving. Alright, so we're going to go into the settings here. Part setting, gear... Yeah, 12. Let's try 5. I may be regretting this later because I've just more than cut in half the final drive ratio. Or the auto gear ratio. What do you want to call it? We'll see whether or not everyone else has done the same thing with their cars. They've done that at least, and possibly more. Let's see how this whole situation pans out. Alright, that was the bad time to uh, adjust ourselves down, but that's okay. Yeah! I manually adjusted my gear ratios, bitches! Seems like you guys might have done that too. But I did it best. Let's just agree on that, shall we? I hope we can agree that my car is the best, and that I deserve to win, and that I will win, and that I do win. Let's all agree that I win. How's that? Let's all just, up front, right now, be like, okay, Bobo wins. Congratulations, Bobo. That was a much better exit that time. I should totally win just for that corner exit. Come on. Oh, two of them are the S4. That's interesting. Yeah, I think the S4 was the prize model, maybe. I don't remember how this goes. I don't know how much it matters in the end. Um, I know there's an FAQ where I can look this stuff up. I'm not really interested in looking the stuff up right now. Just cause... Um, cause there's no need, man. There's no need. I'm pretty much now going to go and uh, try some of the rally courses out because I've finished up Subaru Land and I don't feel like getting any of the fancy Hondas. I could see whether or not there are any fancy Hondas for sale at a good price used, I guess. The NSX has been around long enough that you'll see used NSXs occasionally. Not right now, though. Maybe the used ones appear in new? I forget how this goes. Actually, the NSX does not appear at all in the... <sighs> this is another one of the confusing things about this friggin' game. I'm pretty sure you have to go to the Acura dealership in America to get yourself yeah you can get 
Acura NSXs of various vintages here. Uh, type S103. Type S0 is the type that you want. Grand Prix White, Neutron White Pearl, Platinum White Pearl, Seabrick Silver, Kaisa Silver! That's a nice silver, actually. Grand Prix Red's a very nice one. Formula Red, uh, and Yellow. Estoril Turquoise, that's new. Hey, it looks nice in a Phoenix Blue, doesn't it? Or a Monte Carlo Blue, Midnight Pearl. Oh man, so many good colors! You guys don't even know. It's pretty. I think I gotta go with the. I think I gotta go with the Monte Carlo blue. Buy that. Purchase. Get in the car. It's my new car. And then I'll get. Uh, I guess I'll get some tires for it. I guess I'll get some tires. I mean, that's what you do. It's buy them. They're gonna be super soft because regular soft is for losers. And now that we've bought this car in America, in South City, let's go back to East City to race it in a special event under Honda for just Hondas. Shaking my head right now. Shaking my head right now. Mm, shaking my head right now. Mm, shaking my head right now. Doesn't make sense. No! So this... Ra Ooh, Rome Knight. Well, this will be nice. This will be pleasant and fun. And, uh... It'll be pleasant and fun, I say, even though I don't know the Rome Knight course especially well. And it's entirely possible that these other NSXs are going to be tuned to within an inch of their lives. They're not, though. They're all pretty basic. So it would seem. Yeah, Rome Knight is, of course, I have to sight read. Because I have zero recollection of how it goes every time we get by here. I think this is a little left right switchback. No, it is a little right left switchback, and it's not that little. track is very rhythm oriented and I had a decent rhythm going until right then so yay for me Ooh, nice little uphill bend it's actually a really fun track to drive it's just uh, not one that gets used at all basically of all the city style tracks this I guess is the one that I like the most that might be in part due to the fact that it's probably the widest open city style track. Come on. Get off of there. Alright, don't let this guy take you. Don't let this guy be the punk that spoils everything. This guy ain't no punk to spoil everything. I'm the punk that spoils everything. That's my job. Hey, look at me. I'm being a punk. I did it. And doing it some more. Doing it all the time. That's the way that I go. Man. This course is so nice, you guys. BP and Redline Oil, why aren't those two banners fighting each other? They're rival oils! And Haveline right after them. There's gonna be a giant war for oil here, guys. No blood for oil! Don't do it! Oh, there's the darn old other guy in a 
NSX. I say other guy in an NSX as though there aren't also four other guys other than that other guy that are also in the same car as I am. I'm also a guy in an NSX. Depending on who you are, I might be the other guy. Did you ever think about that, folks? You didn't, because you're really not that sort of at a loss for things to think about. Probably. At least I hope you're not. I like to think better of my fans out there. They're not so lost. They're not so scared. Alright. We're coming to the end here. After that, I'll be able to look up at what somebody was just trying to show me. Ow! No! Well, that did it. Alright. Well, that's third place. I had that, too. That's very disappointing. Aw, my car itself even almost looks like it has a little sad face. Maybe I'm reading something into the droop of the pop-up headlamps. By possibly, I mean definitely. Let's not save the game. Let's, uh... Let's continue. Oh. I think I figured out what was just going on a minute ago. And this new news will make me very happy. In the end. Unfortunately, in the short term, I'm going to have to take this challenge again. Let's take a sip of this... Bizarre energy drink first. That'll help us out, for sure. Okay, Autumn Ring. I like Autumn Ring. Autumn Ring's not bad. Autumn Ring? I get it. Yeah. Alright, so... This is a more spaced out course. So, more guys are going to start farther ahead of me because the grid is not as tightly, uh... Bunched. <laughs> bunched. Okay. Um, but we still managed to break away in the first couple of turns. That's good. I do like this mini section of Autumn Ring. I guess part of it is practice makes perfect. Because, uh, as you recall in the first game, you could do a race on Autumn Ring Mini and win 50 grand in, like, three laps of racing using a Dodge Viper. So... That's where I sort of learned how to drive a big, powerful, real-wheel drive car, at least in virtual Gran Turismo land. Um, because it is a track that uh, asks a lot out of uh, somebody that's going to be driving a big, powerful, real-wheel drive car, because it's little tiny turns with little minute adjustments that you would need to make. Ah. And let's... Nice thing about these uh, mid-engine cars, and maybe it's not actually true of real mid-engine cars. I have to be... The, 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 the basic physics concept behind mid-engine cars apparently seems to be that, like, you have to be desperately careful with them when you're driving near the limits of adhesion. But, um... At least in these games, once you get used to them, it's nice because you can just sort of steer them a little bit with the throttle, like throttle off, you can get a little bit better turn in, throttle on, and you'll uh, push out a little bit, you can adjust your uh, turn uh, accordingly. I guess the same could be said of a well-balanced uh, car with uh, any engine placement, but um, it seems especially true of the mid-engine ones here, you don't even have to really get into the brakes at all. Yeah. Alright, there we go. I was waiting for that car to 
probably get turned. I know, I went into the turn a little too late. It's my fault. Jimmy Buffett would be uh, the first one to let me know that I know that it is my own damn fault. He'd have a song to sing about it. And only a few people would really care, but they would care so much about it they would get custom license plates and stuff made for their states. It would just be ridiculous. Anyhow, we managed to get the win that time. So, um... Uh, it was all worth it in the end. I got to take this nice car out in the autumn ring, which is a nice place to take it out. I'm going to say it was my intention all along, and you will roll your eyes. Or shake your head. Or at this point, hopefully, if you're still watching the series, neither. Because you'll realize that this is the person that I am when I get into playing these things. Um, anyhow, we're not going to actually watch the whole replay or anything right now. I'm actually going to probably call this one a video. Um, it may be a little on the short side. Uh, but it's time to sort of wrap things up for my evening here. So, the game file already exists. We're going to overwrite it. And we're going to watch a little progress bar slowly fill its way up. And then we'll have to do those civic races. And I think... and people, if you've been keeping scorecards at home, you might know better than I do. I think, once we've done those, we've done the two civic races, that will be it for the um, dealership races, basically. Um, and then we'll just have to finish those rallies, and the Enduros, and the World Championship, and... That'll be this series, folks. I say all that's all we need to do when I listed a bunch of things. Um, but, I mean, in relative terms, this is video video 80-something. I don't know. But some of you have been loyal and followed this whole time, and I appreciate it, and I thank you very much for watching. Like, I thank you very much for watching this episode. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.